Yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. First and foremost, all praise of the Most High. First and foremost, all praise of the Most High. Without the Most High, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. And without the Most High, y'all wouldn't be able to watch them, man. A lot of these videos, like I explain to you guys, man, is like you got to save yourself and you got to save your sons, fellas. You understand? A lot of people going to say you crazy, especially women, because they don't want men to know who they are. You understand? I keep telling y'all in numerous videos, never hate women. I do not hate women. I love women. I have a daughter. And I keep saying these things for a reason. This information that I'm sending y'all and giving y'all is for y'all to wake up. You understand? For y'all not to make these mistakes that a lot of kids are making. This video of a 14-year-old boy who killed somebody because his mother was arguing with the guy and the guy hit her. The guy hitting her was wrong. Right? But at the end of the day, females shouldn't be arguing with no man at the end of the day. You get it? When you have a man or, or when you have a real man in your life or you have a daughter, women are meant to be seen and not heard. You understand? That don't give, that's not the same thing where you can't listen to a girl or hear her out. But 90%, especially the women in our community, a lot of women are super masculine. And if you talk to men in different races, they will say that about black women. And I'm not saying that that don't have not one thing I do to the other. It is what it is. A lot of black women is very, very masculine. You understand? A lot of them, 90% 90, 90 of black women are very, very masculine. You understand? So it was a lady who was in the um, in a restaurant or whatever, and um, she got into a verbal dispute with a guy. You understand? The guy threatened to hit her. The guy punched in the face twice, and her 14-year-old son came and killed the guy. So the mother and the son is charged with first-degree murder. You understand? If that lady wasn't running her mouth, a lot of things would never happen. This is why even the words say that um, death, is, death and life is in the tongue. You understand? So, like I said again, I don't never condone a guy hitting a girl because that's wrong. But a lot of women act like men and yell at men, curse men out. And at the end of the day is certain men, you know, lash out and certain men snap. That's just how it is. But I'm going to show you a video of um this tragic incident where a female killed two birds with one stone. And actually, she got in trouble herself. But she killed the guy. Uh, she made her son kill a guy. Now one man is dead. And the son isn't going to go to jail for the rest of his life. So this is why I try to tell you about thinking and not letting women just, you know, trick you out of your spot and your freedom. Just hold on for one second. Bond said it. Three million dollars for the 35 year old West. Altercation. Million dollars for the 35 year old. I'm sorry, a West Pullman mother who, according to prosecutors, got into a fierce verbal argument with a Southside restaurant patron. This was Sunday night while they were waiting in line for food. The situation quickly escalating into a deadly encounter. During that altercation, the defendant began texting her son. Cook County prosecutors describing how Carlicia Hood summoned her 14-year-old son who was out in the parking lot late Sunday night at this Maxwell Street Express restaurant at 116th and South Halstead, and then things started heating up. The argument between the victim and the defendant turned physical when the victim punched the defendant in the head approximately three times. The store surveillance video capturing the moment the 14-year-old sees his mother getting punched, investigators say, and that's when the teen allegedly pulls a gun from his pocket. The co-defendant fired a shot at the victim inside of Maxwell, striking the victim in the back. As the victim fled, the co-defendant followed him and fired additional shots. The defendant instructed her son, the co-defendant, to continue to shoot and kill the victim. The 35-year-old Hood, according to prosecutors, ordering her son to shoot another restaurant patron who thought the initial verbal dispute was funny, but the teen wrestling the gun away from his mother. And thankfully, right. no more shots fired, but... So I say that to say what, right? At the end of the day, women should never be arguing with men at the end of the day. Women argue with women, men argue with men. A lot of these women are very, 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 very masculine. Women is telling God, suck my dick. Do this down the third. That's masculinity. You get what I'm explaining to you? Men don't talk to other men like that. You understand? Because it could be fatal. You understand? But a lot of women think that they could do these things because 
you got NYPD, or you might have your son that you want to be a shooter. You might have a weak nigga that don't got nowhere to live that if he don't if he don't be your bodyguard, then you kick him out the house. You might have another nigga who wants some some box, some pussy, some vagina, and he's fucking being your canine, sniffing your ass, and somebody say the wrong thing to you, he want to kill him. Y'all fellas got to think, fellas. Don't be fighting over no girl unless it's your daughter. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of women, they do things to people and they make it seem like they're the victim. You understand? Things don't happen with nobody. And a lot of things, a lot of women, a lot of things women do is arguing with men. Trying them in to suck their dick. They don't give a fuck. They get this one to kill them, that one to kill them. And this is why a lot of women turn their sons into killers and murderers because they can't get a real man a real thinking man is not going to lose his life and lose his job and lose things for any type of women most women that get gods either they're a jailbird a scam a scam is another word for a thief women don't mess with real guys who work and got their shit together and, and think and i can tell her no and don't care about her box most of them don't got that so always think fellas if you don't got no girl and you're a thinker you're gonna win at the end you're gonna win bro so don't worry about all right, girls is not jacking you or girls is not feeling you cool. Granted, when you're a thinking man, thinking, thinking is shunned upon in the black community. They want the drug dealers. They want the scammers. They want the fucking crackheads. They want the niggas living with their mother. They want the guys who fucking have gay. They want the guys on drugs. This is what they want, fellas. So when you solid, you're never going to deal with a chick like that. You might smash her, but they never going to keep a real solid dude who got their shit together. And don't need to live with them. And that's why I tell you guys in some of my videos. Get your own crib. Because a girl will never kick you out when you got your own crib. But you'll get kicked out when you don't. Get your own crib in your name. Build your credit. Work on your credit. Get things in your name. That's it, fellas. And once you get things in your name, the game is won. Talk to your sons. Teach your sons. Be in your sons' lives. Teach your sons how to be independent. How to work. How to cook clean. Teach your sons this. Because you know if they don't, and when the father's not around, things like that happen to their son. That kid is 14 years old. He's going to... He's going to lose a large chunk of his life because you don't know what the judge, the judge might give him life. So listen to my videos because these videos will save you later. I'm telling you guys, friend, leave these chicks alone, bro. If you, if these women ain't in, in the right state of mind or these women is, 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 is got the drama energy, let them go, fellas. It's not even worth it, man. A lot of these girls ain't even worth talking to solid dudes, man. A lot of them, 95% of them, because most of them, they have their dads, their baby fathers is deadbeats. You understand? They might push them away from their baby father, but no girl should be able to push you away from your son or your daughter. You got to fight through that. I know a lot of these women is pushy and try to make you go through hula hoops to see your kids, but you got to fight for that. You got to. There's no excuse. It's a good fight. And when God see the good fight, God help you. So, fellas, be careful with your sons and your son's mothers, fellas, because they're going to have your sons in prison for a long time because a lot of women need husband, husband sons because they can't pick a man. And they can't keep a real man. All right, fellas. So look at that video. Elaborate on it. Show it to your friends and your family. And I'll see you guys in the comments. All right. Peace and blessings. A million salute. Scrap stay woke. Close your eyes as a blue. Open your eyes as a red. Keep your mind on your money. And always keep a swivel head, man. Always stink. I don't care how foul her ass is. I don't care how crazy her head is. At the end of the day, always be a thinker. You know what I'm saying? When you think, that's the best. I'd rather lose a girl to be thinking than a, than a lose everything and not think. So always be a thinker, fellas. If a girl call you and say, what, what a, a guy dissents her, call the cops. If it's not your daughter and nobody touching or hurting her, then it's quiet. And the way you do these things is how you work around it. You call. You call the cops. If somebody doing something to your daughter, you call police because a lot of times women will let things happen to your daughter and they'll have you in jail so they could be free. So y'all got to always be strategic on everything, especially when you're dealing with women, because they're 10 times manipulators and they, have, they, they are four times liars. Scientists says that. Scientifically. They say women is four times, four times a lie to anybody. No matter what. Four times. They have that in them. They lie. A lie will be to the max. That's just how it works. They're never going to respect you and never going to be honest with you. I don't care who you are. You get a church girl, whatever. It's just something in their mind when they talk to men, they turn certain things off because they don't want to be judged. That's just how I work. I got sisters, grandmothers, aunts, everything. And I seen it all and done it all. And women I dealt with and the women in my family, I seen it all and done it all. Women want to do things in their secrets. They power their secrets and their vagina. 
You feel me? So learn these things. Teach your son this. So now your son could be ahead of the game. They're going to say you crazy. They're going to say you mad. They're going to say you gay. They're going to say you a faggot. They're going to say you deal with trannies. Women is going to say all this when you know who they are. You get it? So at the end of the day, it's the same way y'all ever, you got to picture this. When you was in school, right, and a kid couldn't read, what did he do? He cursed you out. Oh, F you, your mother's this. So they do things to hurt you, which it don't hurt you because their words don't mean nothing. You get it? So always remember when a girl telling you, oh, you're this, you're that, you're that. Just think about that person in school that couldn't read and the teacher made him read and they cursed the teacher out. That's how women are, fellas. So don't even take them serious. Work on yourself and teach your son so that they know. You understand? The mother get into something and somebody do something to her. That's not the son's job. That's supposed to be the husband's job. But when a female dealing with a real man, a real man teach their wife not to be arguing with no man. So you could tell she don't got no husband. You see how easy you can map out women? So this is a discernment you got to have, fellas. And that's the main goal in life, to have discernment and to, to dissect women. Once they walk, you can already see who they are. All right? That's all it's about. They're going to tarnish you. They're going to say you're gay, you're a faggot. They're going to do all these things when you know their nature. Fuck all that shit they talking about. Just keep working on yourself and keep being great. A billion salutes, man. Peace and blessings and always put God first, man. I love you guys.